Hello guys, this is Hamoudi from Bilo Media. As you saw in the title of the, this video, I had to make a cable like this. Uh, it is male XT60 male from one side and XT30 female from the other side. Why I need it so? I needed this cable because I have these batteries. It's 4S uh, battery that takes XT30 male yeah for my drone for my fox whoop drone and my adapter uh, my charger sorry accept an xt60 battery so my 6s battery goes here without any problems but my 4s battery doesn't fit so this is why i needed to uh, make an adapter you can buy an already made adapter, smaller one, yes, like this, but I prefer to uh, buy uh, those uh, ends and uh, do it myself because in this way I can make uh, the cable how long I want and uh, it's more flexible for me. So for this one, guys, you need a soldering gun, uh, some kind of cutter to cut the wire, a solder, helping hands. Uh, I recommend this uh, very, very much because it's so much easier to do the soldering. You can get away uh, without using this, maybe uh, with someone to help you, but uh, alone it's a little bit harder to do. I made the first cable without the helping hand and it was a little bit hard for me and you need of course this kit you can buy it from Amazon I will uh, leave a link um, in the description below on all of these uh, things this is uh, a kit of XT60 and XT30 you need this cutting um, uh, tool to cut uh, to strip out the wires and of course you need uh, wires like this you can find this wire on amazon uh, it's sold in meters i uh, got uh, five meters i think of this first step is to cut the wires the length that you want i will cut them uh, the length that uh, the other cable is made so maybe like this roughly I needed four of them I have two so I have to make another two because I have four outputs for charging my batteries here two and here two and it will be uh, easier for me to charge my uh, four batteries uh, for my drone I have only four of this for S uh, batteries so it's perfect to charge them all together at, uh, at one time so for this we have to pick a female XT30, this one, and I will take another uh, male and stick it here because once you will solder this, it will get very hot and uh, in this way the heat will uh, come over here and uh, doesn't overheat this part. Uh, be careful you have to not overheat this because it will melt and it will damage your uh, connector ah connectors yeah this is <laughs> what it called an xt60 male let's strip the wires first of all so for this i will strip them a little bit longer because as you see here the cable uh, goes inside over there so it is safer to make it a little bit longer about this length it's okay I will twist the wire like this you can use some dedicated uh, tool for stripping the wires but I don't have this uh, here let's hit the heating gun Let's use the helping hands. I don't need this. In one side, I will put this one. Let's begin with the minus one here and the minus wire. Put it here inside and stick 
make it like this okay let's do the same procedure for the other wire yeah now you have to put the protection i don't know how you call this but uh, they are to protect the the connection that you made the soldering and you have to stick it now because after we put this part we will uh, have no chance to put it one over here and another one for the other side like this and two for this as well we have to do the same procedure for those wire but a little bit shorter as this one is shorter than the other connection Out, put it here and put it like this like this okay guys so we made the connection it looks good it will look something like this and now this part those parts we have to move them to protect the our connection like this and now we heat them a little bit with this so they will shrink it looks good on the other side too The wire is done guys this is how it looks here I overheated it a little bit but it's not a problem because it's only the plastic you have to make sure that the wires the solder that you did is not touching and is totally protected and now let's test this out you have to leave it a little bit to cool down let's plug the charger now this is the charger let's plug it let's plug it in channel one and plug the balance cable first so let's go inside and see this charging i want to charge it at uh, one amp 4s and start task you see now that it's charging and everything is okay thank you guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video and uh, you found it helpful for your uh, fpv world and uh, you got something useful from it please uh, hit the like button and consider subscribe for uh, watching uh, future videos from me and until next time have a good flight thank you guys bye